with my shoes, I never say thank you and goodbye. I'm like, thank you, and I move it to the other closet. <laughs> <laughs> I can't part. And I keep telling, my husband goes, you know, why do you keep all these shoes? I'm like, I'm a shoe collector, as if like I'm an art collector. It's a thing. I feel like Louboutins came of age when I was coming into my fame or when I was coming into my popularity. Like we kind of, I feel like we have a relationship of growing together. And so it was like the shoe to have at the moment when I started Desperate Housewives. I remember just craving having a collection <laughs> of many Louboutins. But but really the, the, the main pair I wanted, which was very hard to get because I have a very small foot, it was always sold out, this patent leather nude. And when I finally got them, I never let go. And I, I treat them like babies in my closet. I'm like, do not touch this. And the crazy thing is they stood the test of time. Like they are still in style. The craftsmanship and the pitch and everything about this particular pump has never gone out of style. This is like one of the first times my glam team is back together. I'm in heels. I'm like, oh, how do you do this? How do you walk? <laughs> I haven't had heels on it forever. During COVID, I was cozy. You know, I work out a lot. And so normally I would just stay in my workout clothes until I needed to not be in them anymore. But like zippers and buttons, no. That was not in my fashion vocabulary during COVID. Jeans, oh my God, forget about it. I put on a pair of jeans the other day and I was like, you are very aggressive. You have to go. I can't uh, deal with you right now. I don't know if I'll ever go back to jeans. I think my relationship with them is forever changed. I've been a jumpsuit fan for almost my entire life. I love, I call them onesies. I love a onesie. One, because you don't have to think about it. You put it on in the morning, you zip up, and, you, and you're like out the door. Um, there's not a lot of accessorizing. But I really got into them more as I started directing because, uh, you know, on set, you gotta be comfortable and you gotta move around. You, you're gonna get a little dirty if you're, you know, I'm always like on the floor and I'm behind a couch and I'm like trying to get the shot. It's probably the most creative position because you get to really explore every department and contribute in every single way to, to you know, you know, the final scene and the final cut. I don't know why there aren't more women uh, directors because it's all about multitasking and it's all about problem solving. But you have to have a strong vision and, and juggle many things and people and egos at the same time. And so I really feel like, oh, it's a perfect job for a woman. My fashion today is way more curated. You know, before I probably would take way more risks and be like, ah, oh, sure, I'll wear those feathers. And then I'm like, ah, oh, why did I wear those feathers? When you're young, you're like, yay, this designer wants to dress me. Sure, I'll wear the ostrich, you know, and, and then you look back and you're like, why did I do that? And so I think I've just curated my, my fashion, um, whether it's on the red carpet or daily life, to classic, just classic looks. And also investing in clothes instead of fast fashion, just keeping that same blazer for 10 years and it's always gonna be there. It's always gonna be in style.